Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Professor Gauri Zadhav. Today I'm going to tell you 10 most useful advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce for both the sides, for entrepreneurs, businessmen and customers. Before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like my videos, please do the like and share. Stay tuned to get more such educational videos. Let us go and check what are the 10 advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce. Advantage number one, low financial cost. Low financial cost. One of the, one of the e-commerce benefit is that it has a low startup cost. Physical retail stores have to pay up thousands of rupees or dollars to rent one of their store's location. They also have several upfront costs such as store signs, store design, buying inventory, sales equipment and many more. Physical retail stores also have to pay off, pay to their staff work to run each location. They may also need to hire security staff depending on the product value in store. So these all costs you can store by having your online store. Advantage number two. No need to wait in line. You don't have to stand, stand in a queue for paying your bills or wait till you get your turn for the changing room. All those physical waiting time can get saved. Advantage number three. Ease of access to any store. If you have ever thought of visiting to any shop which is far away from your location, many of the time your plan must have dropped. But now because of e-commerce, by clicking on just a site and to online store, you can visit to that shop and shop and purchase hassle free. Advantage number 4. Sell globally. If you have ever dreamt of selling your product globally, perhaps it feels that it is too difficult but it over the e-commerce you can sell your product you can do your business globally without any restrictions advantage number five no need to set up and invest in physical store like i told you there is no need to need to compulsion to have your physical store at the initial stage, any entrepreneur or businessman can start their business by having just a one laptop or a desktop or an internet. This is just a basic requirement for any businessman to start up with e-commerce website or a business. So no need to set up and invest huge in any physical store. Advantage number 6. 24 by 7 online store can open. Anytime from anywhere, customers can purchase and sellers can take their order through auto-generated system. So you can have your business run 24 by 7. Advantage number 7. C2C. E-commerce sites connect us to the other customers. We can sell the product to the other customers without having our own site. Example, OLX.com. Advantage number 8. Unlimited space to sell as many as item. There is no space crunch over the online store like physical store. You can display your product as much as you want and have your e catalog ready. So there is unlimited space which you can use over your site. Advantage number 9. Easy to retarget and remarket your customer or to customer. It's easy to create retargeting ads to reach out to customers in your area when running an online business making it one of the most profitable e-commerce benefit. You can create a Facebook pixel. You can use the Shulak Shopify app to retarget the browsers who visit to your store but don't buy. Advantage number 10. Scale up your business. One of the benefits of e-commerce is that it's easy to scale up the business quickly for entrepreneurs. They, they can increase their ads budgets when the ads are performing well without having to worry too much about keeping up with the demand, especially if, a drop, if you drop ship. With the brick and mortar stores, it can be hard to grow product lines or, or more cashiers due to finance space. You will need to find a bigger space, renovate or wait for your lease to end 
in order to scale up your business. If you create informational products, you run into challenge again as it takes time to write ebooks, course and more. With drop shipping, you can add new products to your store without having to worry about shipping products or holding inventory allowing you to grow quickly. Advantage number 6 24 by 7 online store can open. Anytime from anywhere, customers can purchase and sellers can take their order through auto generated system. So you can have your business run 24 by 7. Advantage number 7 C2C E commerce sites connect us to the other customers. We can sell the product to the other customers without having our own site. Example, olx.com Advantage number 8 Unlimited space to sell as many as item There is no space crunch over the online store like physical store You can display your product as much as you want and have your e catalog ready So there is unlimited space which you can use over your site Advantage number 9 Easy to retarget and remarket your customer or to customer. It's easy to create retargeting ads to reach out to customers in your area when running an online business making it one of the most profitable e-commerce benefit. You can create a Facebook pixel. You can use the Shulak Shopify app to retarget the browsers who visit to your store but don't buy. Advantage number 10 scale up your business. One of the benefits of e-commerce is that it's easy to scale up the business quickly for entrepreneur. They can, get, they can increase their ads budgets when the ads are performing well without having to worry too much about keeping up with the demand especially if, a drop, if you drop ship. With the brick and mortar stores it can be hard to grow product lines or or more cashiers due to finance space. You will need to find a bigger space, renovate or wait for your lease to end in order to scale up your business. If you create informational products, you run into challenge again as it takes time to write ebooks, course and more. With drop shipping, you can add new products to your store without having to worry about shipping products or holding inventory allowing you to grow quickly. Let us see some disadvantages. Let us see some disadvantages. Advantage number one. There is also need to be a device that can allow access to the store such as a smartphone or laptop. Yes, we don't have alternative for this. If you want to get connected to the e-commerce site, or a store, online store, you need to have a smartphone or a laptop or a desktop. Disadvantage number two, there needs to be relatively fast and reliable internet service. As we have seen in the advantages, you only need to start to business to have a laptop or a desktop or an internet. But the internet should be of a good bandwidth. If you do not have a good speed for your internet, things could get a problem. Disadvantage number 3. The shopping experience can be somewhat impersonal and clinical. We are very used to have to enjoy our shopping experience, which you cannot do in e-commerce. E-commerce site will save your time but will take out your luxurious and enjoyable shopping experience. Disadvantage number 4. There is no way to experience a product before purchase. The luxury of touching and feeling the damn item is taken away. You cannot touch and feel the product. You cannot wear the products. The only thing you can believe the product and you can buy it. Disadvantage number 5. There is the ever present threat of credit card theft and fraud. As when we are paying either through our electronic wallet, digital wallet, 
or cards. So there will be always a threat in the market in cyber world that our credit card information is stolen or passing to the other side. We never know what may happen before the screen, behind the screen. Disadvantage number six. In the case of physical goods, the customer has to wait to receive their purchased item. If you have softwares or any non-tangible goods, then you can have those things over the online immediately. But if you have tangible products or physical goods, you have to wait for some days as per given by the company to receive product in your hand. Disadvantage number 7. You need to ship your product. This is for the entrepreneur. Since even though you are into the market, e-commerce market and you are doing the third party service, at last the product has to ship. The product has to be delivered at the customer's hand. So shipping is somewhat to be taken care very very diligently by the businessmen. Disadvantage number 8. This is often confusion in terms of regulation as taxation as the buyer and seller may be in different location that may different taxation mechanism. We are in the e-commerce connecting to the different world, different part of the world. So every country has got a different taxation rule. The person who is doing the business and the person who is paying the atom uh, bills uh, for the atom purchase, both of the party has to take in mind, keep in mind that the taxation, what kind of regulations are made and what kind of uh, tax has been applied over the product. Disadvantage number 9. E-commerce is highly competitive. As we say that it is as easier to get into the e-commerce site but it is also a very competitive because finding the right niche is another one of the worst in e-commerce e advantage. The reality is the best niche are often the most competitive that's why people are drawn to them. The more competitive a niche is a more expensive ads for that niche are. Disadvantage number 10 no one can buy during site crash even though you are selling product very nicely at a cheap rate than your competitors you have very nice products at in your e-catalog your service is very nice if your site is crashed if internet bandwidth is not good then you cannot do anything you cannot reach to even to next sitting person to you so these are the 10 advantages and disadvantages for the e-commerce i believe you must have understood if you have any queries please write it in comment box thank you so much stay tuned to my channel and subscribe thank you